What's up guys, this is Will, Will H Tech Review back with another video. And today I wanna demonstrate the desktop feature that the LG Velvet has. So the desktop feature is similar to what Samsung devices have, the DeX feature. And uh, I just wanna showcase that. So I'm gonna be showcasing that on this uh, lap dock that I have here. So I've had this lap dock for maybe about a year now. This is the HP Elite X3 uh, lap dock, 12.5 inch full HD display, uh, 1920 by 1080. And uh, I picked this up off of eBay about a year ago. I've never showcased it on my channel or anything, uh, but it's pretty nice. Uh, there are some issues that I have with it. Uh, you do have on this side, your know, battery indicator lets you know how much charge you got. You got a charging port here. You do have a uh, type C there on the bottom of it. You got your little feet here. Uh, on this side, you got a mini HDMI. You got another type C. You got your power button, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, uh, nice chrome hinge on the back of it. And a uh, lap dock basically is a, this is a unit that doesn't have a CPU in it. Uh, it's basically just your keyboard, your trackpad, a battery, and your display. So this has a Mac display as well. Uh, pretty nice laptop. Uh, the function roll here on here, a lot of this stuff doesn't work. Uh, I've been trying to do some research on it. They say uh, there's an update, but I'm not sure how to get the update. And I just wanted to show you guys uh, the feature this as well as the feature with the LG Velvet. So uh, I have a little short Type-C to Type-C cable here that you plug in. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you, let me show you Samsung DeX. Now this is also capable of strain mirror as well. Uh, you take your little cable here and you plug it into your Type-C on this side, like so. I'm gonna go ahead and power this up. And I do have a Bluetooth mouse here that you can use as well. As you can see, I have it hooked up to my LG Velvet over there right now. Let me go ahead and get this on. I thought I turned it on. There it is. And, and the keyboard is backlit, as you guys can see. Uh, so here it is powering up. Have it hooked up to the uh, Note 20 Ultra and it automatically goes into uh, DeX mode here, but you can also stream mirror this. So that's one issue that I have with this, not being able to control the brightness. But as you can see, Samsung DeX works great on this. Uh, no issues. I got a little notification here. I'm not sure what that says. Uh, but if I want to go in, I can move things around here. I can go into YouTube, just like so, and I can stroll about. And this is using the trackpad, as you can see. So this is Samsung DeX. Uh, let me go ahead and get out of, get out of that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and turn off DeX and let you guys see uh, the same strain mirroring as well. So DeX, I'm gonna close out DeX. And as you can see, uh, I can go ahead and stream mirror as well. I don't think I can Bluetooth stream mirror, but as you see, uh, if I go back into YouTube here, if I turn it into landscape, then I can play videos and things like that as well. So uh, that is the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. So let me show you desktop with the LG Velvet. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug in the Velvet. As you straight, the stream comes up. Uh, let me see if my mouse is still connected here. I may have lost the connection. So let's go ahead and get the mouse hooked back up. Uh, it's saying that it is. So yeah, there's my little mouse pointer. So this looks a whole lot better when you're using it. Uh, the interface and everything looks a whole lot better when you're using it with the LG Velvet because it has a lighter background and uh, no way to change that. I can't figure out a way to change it when I'm using it on my Note 20 Ultra. Uh, and that's the biggest issue there. So as you see, I accidentally hit something there, but uh, you can go into your uh, full app drawer here. 
and I keep accidentally hitting something, but let's go ahead and leave that open. This is uh, ESPN, as you guys can see. Uh, I can move this around. I can go ahead and open up. Let's go ahead and open up YouTube as well. So here's YouTube, and I can move this around. Now, one good thing about this one, uh, this will actually play the sound through the speakers that are built into this. I'm going to go ahead and play one of my videos, let you guys hear. Uh, you can't control the sound with, with the keyboard here, with the keyboard on here. Uh, but you, you have to use your, your phone to control the volume. The speakers are loud, as you guys can hear. Kind of tinny, uh, but they work. So I can full strain this like so, or I can go even full of strain like so. And, it, and you guys can see the quality of it. It looks pretty good. So the LG Velvet, this, this, will, this would be something that you take out, uh, take with you, and you want to use this like just kind of like the portable displays that they have now but with this you have a keyboard as well so we're going to go ahead and get out of that and let's go ahead and search for some let's open up chrome here chrome some of these apps will open full screen some of them won't so let's try the keyboard out here so let's go ahead and as you can see, uh, the keyboard works well. And you guys see, so this is like having a laptop with you all the time, especially when you pair it with a mouse because the trackpad is not that great on it. But this is the, this is all working from the $600 LG Velvet, man. And I really like this feature. You can go to right here and open up all your apps. So, yeah, man, this is a, I wanted to showcase this with the LG Velvet. Uh, you can add other things to the display. You can go into your memos here and check out what you got there. Yeah, man, so the little lap dock and the LG Velvet works great together. So, uh, just wanted to showcase that, guys. Catch you guys in the next video. Will H. I'm out.